what you're going to do is once you log in, um, you're on this main page under my projects, it brings you to this. And it's gonna look like this. Now this is just to listen. So you can't record on this page. So what you need to do is actually click on studio because that's where the recording happens. So we're gonna click studio. Now this is a computer version right now. You can do it on the iPad as well, but I just prefer doing the computer version because there are many tracks to deal with. So on the iPad, you'll be doing more scrolling, but they both work. Um, so I made a track for every student. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the track that you need. And I made my own one, so I'm looking for Daniel Demo. That's what I'm going to go to. Now on top, we have the song, and this is our little cue. So you can always bring it here, space to start, or you can hit the play button on the bottom. The red circle is to record, but it's not actually going to record yet. You need a few things uh, so first. So you need to hit the record enable, which is this button. It's gonna ask you if you're wearing headphones. Please record with headphones. It's really important um, because if you record without headphones, then all the other tracks are going to be heard on your track and we won't really hear just your voice. So as you can see, I put my headphones in, um, but please make sure that they're not Bluetooth headphones. If all you have is Bluetooth headphones, that's okay. If you don't have any headphones, that's okay. We're doing our best right now in this situation. But the best possible thing that you can do is wear wired headphones. I find that when you use Bluetooth headphones, there's a bit of a delay when you record. So I'm gonna use headphones. And now I'm hearing myself back. I don't know if you can hear that right now, but what you wanna do to stop hearing that is go to settings, monitoring. That means that it makes your headphones an extra monitor so you can hear what's actually being recorded in real time. I don't really like that. Some people like that, but I'm gonna click that button and now that turned off. So you can either start recording like that or you can hit the microphone and do this. Now, if it's your first time recording in Soundtrap, it's probably going to ask you if you want to allow your um, device, your computer, your iPad to use the microphone. You should click allow. If you're using Google Chrome, I like going and up here you can click to always allow in the settings and then you can start. So it's gonna give you a little count off. And over here where it says off, if for some reason it says on on your computer, that's gonna be a click track. Um, this, the songs right now, they were just brought into soundtrack. They're not lined up with the actual grid for clicking. So the click will actually not be accurate. So that should say off over here. So then let's double check that I'm on my track and not someone else's. Okay, record enable, so I am ready. Here we go. So that is all you need to do, except there's one more thing. I'm sure you can figure it out. You click save. Please make sure it saves.